big vote in Atlanta where Democrats elected a new chair of the Democratic National Committee. They chose former Labor Secretary Tom Perez over Congressman Keith Ellison. A 235-200 vote did not make Ellison voters happy. Of course, he was also backed big time by Senator uh, Bernie Sanders. Uh, Perez immediately moved to suspend the rules and name uh, Ellison vice chair of the party. Of course, Donald Trump, he also weighed in with a tweet. Congratulations to Thomas Perez. He goes by Tom, who has just been named chairman of the DNC. I could not be happier for him or for the Republican Party. And he then later, of course, tried to say the election was rigged and that's <laughs> why they lost. Lord, <laughs> please take this man's damn phone. Uh, and then Tom Perez tweeted back, call me Tom. To, he to tweeted back to Trump, call me Tom and don't get too happy. Keith Elson and I are and Democrats united across the country. We'll be your worst nightmare. Joining us right now, folks, uh, a couple of guests. One is uh, Cornell Belcher, a uh, top Democratic pollster uh, who joins us. Also, Jordan Sheridan. He, of course, is a reporter with the Young Turks. Uh, first to you, Cornell. What is the path forward for um, for uh, Tom Perez trying to rebuild the party, not nationally, but really on the state level, where more than 1,000 seats were lost under the tenure of President Barack Obama? Good morning, and thanks for having me on. Uh, I think the path forward is, you know, uh, Perez has got to be a little bit of uh, former Chairman Terry McAuliffe, now Governor McAuliffe, and former Chair Howard Dean. And what I say by that is, is Terry was... Uh, or Governor McAuliffe now uh, was very good at at raising money and helping and helping to build. Uh, Governor Dean, as you know, was very good and instrumental at at at, at building the 50 state strategy, getting down to the, to the state and local level, very grassroots neighbor neighbor program. What you've seen over the last eight years is, in fact, the Democratic Party not putting resources, not putting uh, time and people uh, in the ground across the country. At, particularly at the sort of the, the local level where you have to win some of these local elections in order for you to win at the, at the federal level. So a lot of people complain, especially in the states, that the party has really rotted at, at, the, at the local level, and the party now must be rebuilt. So uh, Perez has got to raise a lot of money. And he's got to do a lot of organizing. Jordan, uh, you were not happy at all. You were a big Bernie Sanders supporter. You were blasting the selection of Tom Perez. Yeah, you know, it, it's it's just that same old record spinning. It, it seems like not a lot was learned from from the defeat in November. Uh, you know, all you hear about with Tom Perez and and uh, DNC race is the 50 state strategy. Uh, we got to reboot the states, but if you don't have the policies right, if you don't have excitement, particularly among young people, uh, it doesn't really matter if you, if you have the mechanical uh, or the structures right or you galvanize uh, more money. Uh, I think that Tom Perez uh, really represents the, the establishment insider wing, and that's not going to get out the millennials that supported Bernie Sanders or, or uh, middle-aged to older people that supported Bernie Sanders. This was a moment to really go in a different direction, and they stayed the course. But Cornell, when you look at it's interesting because, on the other hand, you have people who say Tom Perez had a, had a strong record as labor secretary. Others say that he was a strong advocate for civil rights when he served in the Department of Justice. So which is it? It, it? It's kind of mind-boggling to me, and I, I do respect those who are, who, are, who are frustrated, but it's kind of mind-boggling to me, because if you look at the Democratic Party right now, and if you look at the policy of the Democratic Party right now, you can't, <laughs> it's kind of hard to argue that, that they're not, that the Democratic Party is not a, a progressive, uh, not a progressive place. And if you look at where Tom Perez is, and you look at where Ellison was on 99% of all the uh, all the important sort of issues that are important to young people and important to to old people as well across this country, there's not an inch of difference between the two, right? And, and quite frankly, the chair of the party is not, in fact, a policy maker. The chair of the party is 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 is, is, is a builder and a and a fundraiser. And yes, they have to sort of give the voice and the values of the of the party. But I I doubt very seriously that there is a there is a policy perspective. So will that be the vice young, chair? That's important to young people. That is not important to to, to, to Perez. Look, I, I you know we can't always win, right? But right now we have to we have to come together and fight a an existential threat to our to our, to our democracy in Donald Trump and, and what his movement is. And Perez will do that. Okay, so if you don't like Tom Perez, who would you have 
like to have seen to get the uh, the championship? Jordan. Uh, Keith Ellison, I think, uh, and I disagree with Cornell on that because w one of the biggest reasons we always lose in midterms is young people don't vote. Uh, young people tend to vote in actual election, presidential election years, but not the midterms. You just galvanized, well, not you, but Bernie Sanders and the progressive movement just galvanized millions of young people, and four, four or five months later, you're basically but, 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 leaving but Jordan, them on the but, doorstep. But, but, but Jordan, I got to ask you this here. Here's the whole deal, okay? Okay, so if that's the case, that's young people asking Democrats, can you please do this? This is why you run for county chair and county positions. This is why you run for state positions. Young folks who support Bernie Sanders were not going to just take over the party in a matter of months. This Look, in 1984, Reverend Jackson did the exact same thing. 1988, Reverend Jackson did the exact same thing. What he did in 84 after losing, he comes in 88, comes in second to Michael Dukakis, they, they, they all of a sudden get Ron Brown as chair, change the rules when it came to superdelegates, change the rules when it came to proportional delegation, which is winner take all. And so if you're a Bernie supporter, you're going to have to actually take the time to get in the party and, and then take over powerful positions and not hope somebody else do it. And so shouldn't you be saying to those folks, that's what your job should be to do that? Oh, absolutely, but the two aren't mutually exclusive. And this talking point that they didn't have much much policy differences is not true. But but I mean, but, what, but you gotta one, have votes. And if you don't have the positions, you don't have the votes. Yeah, correct. But my point my but point is my point the, is but we're in the different on the policy. I mean one, one, we're, one, we're one, the Democratic Party practical on policy. There's not a fraction of the Democratic Party around policy. One wants to break up the big banks, the other one doesn't. What one one actually tried to go after banks that defrauded uh, people on their mortgages. The other one didn't. I mean, there's many there's many policy differences. But you have a man who's representing that with the vice chair. Isn't that going to make a difference in Keith Ellison? Uh, honestly, I mean, deputy chair. Uh, it seems a little more symbolic than anything else to me. I'm all for uh, Keith Ellison being deputy chair, but they, they, really it's party operatives who are citing unity. If you're out in the country, so that like would be I am, <laughs> if, if you're out in the country like I am and you talk to thousands of people, there is no unity. There, this is a, this is a, operatives would like there to be unity, but there is a 50-50 split in the Democratic well, Party. Well, I, I tell you what, if you want a 50-50 split, expect to lose again. But if you don't want to lose in 2018 and see Trump having a two-term, I say you better figure out how to get together real damn soon. All Cornell right, Belcher, Roman. Jordan Charity, yeah, we appreciate yeah. it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> if you want to say two-term, get it together. Got to. Real damn soon. <laughs> real damn soon. <laughs> Yeah. Hugging next. All right, Todd, thank you so very much. I want to quickly go to our panel right here. Jordan and Cornell, thanks a bunch. I certainly appreciate it. Uh, folks, uh, again, your, your, your thoughts. This is a huge problem for the Democrats. And the message you just gave your, your guest, who was for Keith Ellison, you could give the same message to Tom Perez and the Democratic insiders. They, they can't win anything. On one hand, Ellison and, and Sanders Democrats can't figure out how to win. Okay, but hold on, hold on. let's stop right there. First of all, and this is, I think, again, I'm, I, I'll keep making this point. And this is what you're also seeing. You're seeing, you say, Sanders Democrats. He's not a Democrat. Now, you see, you're making, no, 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 wait, no, no, wait, 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 no, no, one second, one one second, one second. Bernie Sanders remains an independent so? in the United States Senate. So Bernie what? Sanders <laughs> ran at, on the Democratic side yes. and then still said he was not going to join the party. Now, here's the piece here, okay? Bernie Sanders, folks, lost the nomination, yep. lost the DNC chair. <laughs> I'm going to say it again, Eugene. If you don't run for so, county and state, you will never be able to take over the party. So as somebody, so, so as somebody that, that out of, coming out of the 2012 election, 2013, got, you know, got onto our, our camp, Baltimore County Central Committee, and then a year and a half later, uh, two years later, ended up as the vice chair of a state party, you don't change the party by you know one full swoop taking out a chairman. You change the party by changing the actual structure and infrastructure of the party. That, go, that, that takes you running. That takes you running for party office. That takes you running for local and county and office. And we've seen that. We've 
and, and, that, for and that's, uh, I came out of the I came out of the Ron Paul Revolution out of 2012. You know, we know if any, if there's anybody that knows what it what it feels like to be slapped down by the establishment. For it's some us. reason, there's an obsession with Sanders, Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders. They lost a thousand seats. Are they still Bernie feeling Sanders burn. Ever, uh, they lost 63 <laughs> House seats. 63 House seats because of OFA and Barack Obama's benign neglect exactly. before Bernie Sanders. Okay, exactly. when everybody was together, this president, the Democrat. Uh, did the bank bailout, agree with the bank bailout, agreed with TPP, agreed with the Bush tax cuts. So this whole thing of Sanders isn't a Democrat. No, 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 but here's the deal, though, but here's the deal, though, but the, deal, though. But the very party. same people who are saying they were back in Keith Ellison, they also loved Obama. Yeah. See, so hold up. The same what people. What are you talking about? No, what I'm talking about is the very and same. Hillary. The very same people can't sit Look, here. What, no, hold what, up, Lauren. What we know Lauren. Now, what we know, Lauren. What we know Lauren, 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 Lauren. Now Lauren. Doesn't Lauren. Doesn't no, no, Lauren. What we're doing Lauren, now doesn't Lauren, work. Lauren. The very same people. The very same people who are love. Who are saying, Oh yeah, Sanders is our guy, and he's right on the issues. The same millennials were loving Obama. So the what? very same so because what? So what? because so what? because, so what? because if you no 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 the because very same Lauren people who got you the just said <laughs> Lauren again. Lauren if you just said that Obama's position when it came to the bank bailout when it came to TPP when it came to all those different issues and I, those people lost a thousand seats and, and, rolling and what, and those people and those lost people, a thousand seats and those people and also and lost and a thousand seats no no again? Lauren They're those people lost a thousand seats because what they did was they became a National Party and ignore ground, what happened on the right, ground. Right, and they were in charge of that. They I were understand in that. Of that. I and mean, what I'm saying is the same people who effed up are and back again. What, and this is the point. Okay. And this is and this is what I I'm mean, still saying. You don't if that? if the same you people, Hillary it, here's the deal. People and let OFA me say it again. Let me say it again. Are in charge if, of the party if again. If you do not, let me be real clear. Let me be real clear. Crystal. If you do not run for county committee. Yep. If you do not run for state committee, yep. you cannot take over a party. No, no, one second. You, no, one second. What, no, no, you fo follow me. Follow me here. His biggest seat was city council in a blue state. Follow me here, Tom Lauren. Is follow me that? here, Lauren. And you were DC that? committee. You were DC Democratic chair. Party chair. No you, you, Tom you, you know, <laughs> you know how the game works. If you want power, you must take power. What's going to You don't. One second, Lauren. Lauren, one second. What you do not do, you don't. Sit back. You don't sit back and go. We don't like who's in charge. Can y'all please change? You know. You know what that was. You know. You know, you know what that was. Go ahead. The Sanders. Go ahead, guys. The Sanders Democratic Democrats Party. are saying more than that. They're saying that they can't take power. They want change. They don't want a power right. share. They want <laughs> leadership, and that the rules are. Forgive the term, rigged against them. That's fair. <laughs> but Scott, That's fair. Scott, Scott, we, but Scott, but Scott, we have examples. We have examples you, yes. in a number of states where they have actually taken control of exactly. county and state. And, and, what, and what I'm saying is, you are not going to be able to think that you're going to take over the whole party in three months. I don't think they think that. What I do, hold, hold on, hold on. What I do months. think they believe, though, is is that they need to reform and rebuild the Democratic Party in the image and w as, a, as the Sander Democrats and be more progressive, more liberal, to go after Donald you. Trump. And if Tom but Perez not, doesn't no. unify and power what, share what with the Sander Democrats, it, it doesn't matter whether they do have 50 day strategy. If the, Sander, if the Sander Democrats and the Sanders youth movement keeps going down this path, they're going to keep feeling the burn of these L's. What they need to do is ignore the Democratic Party and, and listen to Indivisible, because Indivisible is about to save the Democratic Party from itself. But I'm sorry, That's hold up. Last, last, who, who wait, hold up, hold up. Last, 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 did, last did, I did, checked. Did, did the DNC hold up, get I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Last did the I DNC checked. Get those I'm sorry. Out? Last no. I checked. Last I checked. Just like the team. Last I checked. Bernie Sanders was now. supposed to convert his campaign to a group called the uh, the Revolution. No, no, wait. Will you please? Will you please listen? You please listen. You please listen. If the Bernie yeah. said, no, if okay. you're, you're not listening, it's Lauren. All about Lauren, 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 you're not listening. Oh, I'm you're listening. not listening. I'm listening. Good no, morning. Bernie. No, <laughs> Senator I'm Bernie Sanders. Fun. Senator <laughs> Bernie Sanders with his mailing list and his apparatus. They were converting that into exactly what you just said. The Democratic 
Democratic uh, once monopoly. an entity Democratic that losses. is not part of the party. The Democratic and so if you have the going on for eight years. If you have the apparatus and then you were to convert that, that's how you run candidates. That's how you raise money. All I'm saying is this here. As somebody who has taken over organizations, you don't do it by just yelling. You do it by getting in and then you say, fine, we're going to take it over. That's and that's how you take it over. Well, well, guess what? That's guess what? And it ain't going to happen that's over two say. months. I got to go to a break. When we come back, I do got to go right now because you done made your point. I got to go, got to go. That's right. You got enough time now. You couldn't make your point in that time? Well, that's your, well, that's your problem. A peaceful protest turned deadly. 37-year-old black man was shot and killed by Baton Rouge police. His hands are in the air and you still get shot by the cops. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. We're not gonna let hate define us. Race is a big part of this. If truly all lives matter, then all lives need to matter equally. What we require is action. What we require is accountability. We understand that black lives do matter. And we will keep focused on this issue. News One Now, every weekday morning at seven on TV One.